You guys are ready? Yes. All right. So in everyday driving, something that we all should be doing is hands nine and three on the steering wheel, first of all. This is one of the things we taught Christian Bale. So hands are nine and three. That way you have a bigger range of motion to steer the car where you want it. Um, so, yeah, puts you right in the middle of that spindle. That way you can push pull with your arms very smooth, very fluid. Um, now the foundation of everything that we do teach here uh, stems from the visual, right? The human body, we're made to go five to 10 mile an hour, pretty slow. So even at 25, we're more than double that speed. We're already not looking far enough ahead, right? So we need to be looking way out in front to give ourselves time to comprehend the information that's coming to you, right? Because we're going so fast. So I am thinking of a train. I'm the caboose and I'm looking at the engine. I'm always one step ahead of myself where I want that car to be. So if I'm going faster, that train's getting longer. If I'm going slower, that train's going a little bit shorter. So building the actual path I want the car to take to minimize my steering input, right? So the driving line stems after that visual, looking where I want that car to be. So I'm just building my path, looking exactly where I want to go. Hand-eye coordination, you develop since you're a baby, right? So I just trust my eyes and my body puts it right where I want to go without thinking about it. So that is a development. You have to trust the eyes in a car. It's something that's very unnatural, right? So there's where the training comes in. We do this over and over and over. Um, going back to the human body, you know, if the car starts to do something that you don't want it, think of it sliding out of control, right? If I'm going through this corner and it starts to slide, we get all these walls over here. If I look at these walls, which is very natural, that's exactly where I'm going to go. Right, so as soon as the car slides, I want to make sure I continue to look where I want the car to go, trust my eyes, that gives me the right information to steer it where I want. At the same time, I'm also managing the weight of the car. If I think of the car, and I'll use two hands for this in a second, don't do this at home, but <laughs> if you think of the car balancing on a needle, right, I have a car platform, and there's the needle, right, I accelerate, decelerate, I'm managing that weight. So on the outside of high performance driving, it looks like we're muscling the car around, where in reality, I'm finessing the car around. It's just a ballet. I'm finessing the weight where I want it to help manage my steering to get the car more efficiently where I want it to go, right? If I think of using the brake pedal, right? Weight's gonna go forward. What tires are steering the car? The front tires, right? So when I come into a corner, I'm gonna brake, help set that nose, help steer that car where I want it. If I'm adding steering input, I'm using that brake to get me where I want it. Then when I unwind the steering wheel, I can then accelerate out of the corner, right? So it's a very disciplinary exercise, right? Um, working with Christian, being as in tune with his acting, right? I mean, he is a professional. So when he came in, uh, he was very like a sponge, right? He was like, tell me everything. Uh, and then, too, there's a process with that. You don't want to give them too much information right away. So you start off uh, gradual. You start off with that visual. And then you start working on the vehicle dynamics. Then you work on driving line. Um, you give them step-by-step -step pieces of information uh, with enough time to, to have the muscle memory and trust each of those things. Uh, and then it develops that driver out of them. So we'll start picking up the pace a little bit more here for you guys. You guys good? Yeah. Everybody all right? All right. Now, how much did he know? Did he have any like, driving experience? He knew nothing about cars. He was not really a car guy, to my knowledge. I actually asked him. I mean, he likes cars. But as far as driving, just a typical driver, right? Again, as, as a typical driver, um, I'm looking at the bumper of the car in front of me, right? I'm turning the steering wheel to turn the car. I'm using the gas to go. I'm using the brake to stop. That's it, right? And now, they're using those controls for a lot different things right <laughs> managing the weight of the car uh, and then making sure i'm looking ahead because i am going much faster right so again we'll pick up the pace a little bit more you'll start feeling the same things i was doing when i was going slower kind of almost like driving like a chauffeur right feeling that weight motion very smooth very gentle right but as i increase the speed things get a little bit more violent but it's the same input super smooth to push those tires onto the ground Little technique that we also taught is the heel and toe downshift. So back in the day, 
um, we have the H pattern gearbox, right? We had to work with that shifter. So what we're doing is matching the engine speed with the transmission speed in the lower gear to make it more efficient, to give me more power out of the corner. You good? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Using the brake to slow down, slow release, carries my steering, points the car where I want it. So the brake pedal I'll use to slow me down in a straight line, and then I'll use the brake pedal for that control on the way into the corner. So I'll trail off, Gary's my front end to help point the car where I want it. Slow release of the brake helps me steer it where I want to go. And then I can gently build that power on the way out. Or with this car, abruptly, <laughs> if it accepts it. Hear a little bit of tire noise, and well, now what the race car driver does, once they start listening to the communication of the car, they know exactly what the car accepts and doesn't accept. So always the biggest question you get asked as, a, as an instructor, how fast can I go through that corner, right? It's like, I don't know. Let the car tell you what it accepts and what it doesn't accept. You know, at the same time, I'm managing all four tires. So if I'm going through a corner and the front just continues to slide and it's only the front, Maybe I should add a little bit more weight to that front tire to help it steer, right? To use all four tires together rather than just the front. You guys good? Want me to go one more quicker or are you good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like quick? Okay. Yeah. Okay, hold on tight. We'll have some fun. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Have a little bit of fun. <laughs> a little bit high. A little bit quicker here. Working our way up around to this formula car. So Christian Bale did four days of driving, three days in a car just like this one. The, the fourth day was in a race car, in the formula car. This formula car here, I call our second best tool we have on property because of that communication. A street car is made a little bit more for comfort, right? It's, it's nice and smooth, nice and comfortable over the bumps where the race car is very harsh very raw so 
the formula car it communicates much more crisp if i feel the car slide i'm going to feel it quicker in that car than i will this one same thing as if my inputs are abrupt in that car it's going to tell me so that is our second best tool that we use because of that communication so i'm able to take away what i learned in that car and apply it into anything i drive so it doesn't matter the car or the tool that you use as far as learning it's managing the weight using the gas pedal brake pedal steering wheel uh, end up training that so you can uh, drive the car right more efficiently you guys okay yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, how, how did he do like his first few times out here? So he actually did really well because he was so in tune. He was so into it, right? Uh, asking tons of questions and getting even more than I wanted him to. Um, kind of like we'll get to that. But he did great. Um, he applied himself. It's once you understand it, it's it's very it's common sense kind of thing, right? It's like okay, weight management, looking further ahead. And as long as you listen and trust us, you end up trusting yourself and you're able to apply, right? So yeah, he was able to definitely apply everything that he learned. Was four days enough for him to learn? Um, I mean, because obviously he wasn't gonna go be a pro race car driver, but <laughs> was it enough for him to learn basics of it? Yeah, absolutely. Four days is enough to get you the basics, right? Now from there it's refinement. So you can start gaining those muscle memories of that heel and toe downshift. You'll have the muscle memories of trusting your eyes. Okay, but now how do you squeeze out the, the extra tenth of a second, right? That's where the more training comes in. That's where if you were to come back, you do like our advanced class where we refine what you've already learned. And then now you're looking for those tenths of a second. How do I get a little bit better, a little bit faster? When we're driving the car, because of that communication, we're driving it on the knife edge, they call it. The tire's gaining grip and then losing grip, right? So if I have a better communication of that feel, uh, I'll be able to squeeze out more of that car's potential, right? So the more I drive, the more seat time I have, the better. But four days is enough to gain that foundation, gain that understanding of what you need, uh, then it's seat time from there to, to continue to, to apply it, for sure. And what you taught him, can anyone come in? And get Anybody can come in and do a four-day Grand Prix road racing class, yeah. That is our, our flagship class, for sure. Um, it could be anybody from a novice. Right? Somebody that, that wants to get into racing um, but doesn't know how to start, you can start here. Um, it could even be like for the military guy just trying to learn vehicle dynamics, uh, learn a little bit more car control, car understanding, so I can apply it into whatever else I drive from here forward. Um, if you end up in a third world country and, and I only have a Toyota, <laughs> I'm going to be able to drive that car a little bit better, right? Um, so, yeah, to the bucket list person, the guy that always wanted to do it, you know, maybe getting towards the end, end of his life career. <laughs> I want to drive race cars. Um, the same thing, that class will bring you up uh, to drive those race cars uh, and enough to have a foundation skill set to, to apply it in your everyday driving as well, right? If you think about driving, everybody drives. When I am safe from point A to point B, everything is fine, right? But sometimes somebody else maybe not be paying attention, right? So when things go wrong is where this training comes into play. So if everybody took a class like a two, three, or a four day class, um, they'd be way better drivers on the street, less likely to get in accidents, just general awareness as well, right? Paying attention to everybody else, understanding there is more of a skill set in the car, something to learn, rather than um, just go fast, right? Gas, go brake stop, steering wheel turn. There's a lot more going on in the car, right? Now, were you Christian Bale's like direct instructor? Yeah. How did yeah. that come about? How did you get the... So, the... One, I guess? <laughs> yeah, one of the CEOs, um, Darren Law, uh, used to be an instructor here at Bondurant. Yeah. Um, worked his way up into race car driving, did really well uh, with his career came back, ended up being our CEO here for the Bondurant Racing School, um, was a good friend of Robert Nagel. Robert Nagel is the stunt coordinator. Um, 
at the time, Darren Law called Robert Nagel, or actually Robert Nagel called Darren Law to find out uh, the Bondurant story here, get some uh, driving instruction. Uh, so Darren Law suggested me, I guess. <laughs> so that's how that connection happened. Uh, and then that's how I was Christian Bale's instructor. So yeah, definitely want to thank Darren Law. I want to thank uh, Robert Nagel for coming out, giving me this opportunity to be able to, to teach somebody. And the beauty of it is if, if somebody's willing to learn, right? It's super easy as far as my job, but it's fun to watch the progression, watch them coming from nowhere, right? You're molding this piece of clay that's nothing, <laughs> right? Decent driver into a proper race car driver, right? Um, even using these skills to this day in his everyday driving that could save his life or his family's life or somebody else's, right? So um, definitely the passion that we have for teaching uh, is that. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. How long have you been driving like this? <laughs> so, um, since 93, so about uh, over 25 years of, in, of driving, race car driving, yeah. uh, 20 years of instructing. I've been here at Bondurant for 10 years. So yeah, lots of driving, lots of instructing, uh, many different cars. And again, the, for me, the car doesn't matter. I mean, it's a tool, gas pedal, brake pedal, steering wheel. More horsepower is always better. So thank you, Dodge, for giving us a lot of horsepower, a lot of reliable horsepower. Um, pretty awesome. <laughs> now you're gonna go see the movie? I'm going tonight, actually, yeah, absolutely. I got tickets at the IMAX. Nice. So yeah, you see it on the big screen, the big, big screen, right? <laughs> and uh, so you know the basic premise of it, like Ford is trying to build their own race car. Yep. That's Ferrari. If you had to pick, Ford or Ferrari, what would you do? <laughs> you know, like for me, as a race car driver, obviously like the Ferrari's got the, the sound, the history, the feel, you know, but it's also pretty flashy. So if it's for the racetrack, I'd go for the Ferrari. <laughs> if it's for the road, I'd probably say a Ford, right? It's, I drive a minivan on a daily basis, so Honestly, the car isn't that big of a deal. I could do what I need to do to that car, right? Um, but there's definitely like little things that being a car guy just make you, oh, I love it, right? The sounds, the smells, um, the speed for sure, the horsepower, like I say. So that's definitely the part that I like, yes. Now on the trailer, did you see any like techniques that you were going to you see the movie, or you'll be like, oh yeah, I taught him. I taught him that. <laughs> yeah, so the hands nine and three, right? So definitely that's going to be part of it. Yeah. Um, being smooth, hopefully being smooth on the shifter. I didn't really see those in the uh, <laughs> in the actual trailer, but the one thing I did heard, <laughs> this is kind of funny, but Christian Bale uh, did an interview, and uh, he was talking about his character, right, Ken Miles. And he, my favorite saying is on the outside, it looks aggressive, right? It's very strong, very masculine, say, um, like you're muscling the car around. But again, my favorite saying is it's not, it's the ballet. And he used that in his, one of his interviews. So I was um, yeah, pretty excited about that. It was, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> he did give that one to, to Ken Miles saying it, but that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, good times. Cool deal.